Okay, so there you go. That's the dust shoe, or at least part of it. I'm going to try and do it with this initially. And, uh, oh, and for anybody who isn't sure what I mean by dust shoe, basically this will go up under here. We'll mount to the underside of this. I've got some holes drilled here. And it's exactly the right size. This hole here matches the outlet on that, or the inlet, I guess, on that. And what I'll do is I'll glue uh, kind of a skirt around the edge of this. We'll see if that'll work. I may have to, I've seen other people have a much more complicated design where they've actually got just the area around the, the motor with the, with the uh, skirting. And they have like a little, you know, it's almost like a duct that goes into here, you know, from that. But I'm going to try and get away with this. We'll see if it works. Uh, regardless, there's a couple of, it, I think it turned out okay. It's slightly smaller than it should be like in terms of the dimensions, and I think that that was once again, you know, like my uh, backlash. But uh, we'll deal with that, and I'm going to have to remake that, that crack to pretty much as soon as I put it on, so I'll have to make two new ones of these, and I'll have to be much, much more careful when I drill the uh, through holes on them, because what was happening was the bit was not clearing, it was just loading, and then eventually it was you're just trying to push it through, and it would just it split it easy. Anyways, so... I think that that's pretty satisfactory. So all uh, it's getting late today already. I didn't get out until uh, until uh, quite late because I went by CL Electronics. And I was picking up some things like some connectors that I'm going to use in a hard drive or in hard drive in a stepper motor case. And uh, I picked up some micro switches to put on here for limit switches. I'll talk about that in some future video and uh, and all that sort of fun stuff. Anyways, so I cut the Lexan, Lexan, actually this is acrylic called, I don't know the differences between Lexan polycarbonate and, and acrylic, but this was labeled as acrylic, so we'll call it acrylic. But it seemed to cut it fairly well, you know, some machine marks on the edges there, and some of that is just from, uh, from the spoil board. I, I took one of the guys' advice, and I got some 1 8 inch uh, hardboard and double-sided taped it down and uh, and all that. I tried double-sided taping this uh, you know acrylic down but it just kept sliding around. I actually you know had to abort one cut there because it was just not working right. Regardless guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is uh, shaping up to be a lot more useful tool every day. You know once I get this mounted and I glue some of that edging around the uh, outside of this here I'm going to uh, I'm going to resume making these things, and once I've done eight of those, then I'll set this, take this whole, blow this whole thing apart, you know, bore this out, make two new, you know, uh, guide rails, and uh, go from there. I'm not going to put the adjusters on this one. I think what I'm going to do with this one is once I get everything all set up, I'll remake all three of these pieces. I'll make it like two inches shorter, probably as well, and uh, and we'll go from there, and or three inches shorter. Yeah, that distance there is how much shorter I want to make it, and then that'll give me. I think this thing has about nine inches of travel right now, and I'll cut it down to six. And I think six is the absolute most you would ever want, because you want enough travel to clear the tool from the bottom to the top of this. Plus, you also want the longest tool that you would ever use, which would be that distance. So, six inches is a nice round number. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to post two other videos uh, after this one. One, a little call for help for uh, another guy in, I believe he's in uh, in France or Belgium or he, he's in, you know, the French part of Europe, I believe. And uh, he's got some diesel problems with his truck. I tried to help him uh, like three years ago and I had no luck. But I'll post uh, a separate video for that.